you have your great American story. Perhaps you could briefly discuss your immigrant experience coming over to the country and rising through this meritocracy of this massive organization, efficient, effective military organization. Yeah, I actually, uh, if we don't talk about anything else, I'd, lo I'd love to talk about this story because this is really a great American story. Uh, so we came here at uh, age 12, my sister and I. My sister's three years older than me. I don't know. We landed in New York City on our way to Chicago. I don't recall luggage. <laughs> we may have had something that we brought. Our parents were here in advance, and so we'd been in Jamaica with uh, our grandmothers uh, and our grandparents. and. Uh, we came here with a simple idea that America was a great place, that this truly was the land of opportunity, and with a little hard work and some education and a, a commitment, uh, you could accomplish anything. And we believe that. We genuinely believe that. And uh, my mother was very um, determined that we would have an education and that uh, ultimately we'd, we'd give back. So I, I, I was very fortunate. I went to university, Western Illinois University, on a, on a football scholarship. And uh, I would not have gone to school had I not gotten a, a football scholarship. So uh, again, uh, hard work, uh, getting after something that I enjoyed, football. And then uh, about uh, my sophomore year, I decided it was time to give back. And so I was looking for a uh, service to join. I went to the Army ROTC course in Fort Knox, Kentucky for about six weeks. It was a wonderful picnic. Uh, <laughs> I always say that with Major Graham here because it, uh, I, I, it was interesting, but it wasn't terribly challenging. I came back for two weeks and then uh, went to Marine Corps Officer Candidate School uh, where I fell in love with the Marine Corps. And so I uh, signed my contract uh, shortly after uh, I came home, and I've been doing it uh, really since 1979. And uh, I, I tell you folks, it, and this is what I tell many of the young people that I have the opportunity to talk to, you can talk about all the things that's going on in America, all the shortfalls in America. This is still the greatest country on the face of the earth. And you can get, you can, Nowhere else is uh, what I have achieved possible. Nowhere else. Uh, you don't see uh, refugees rushing to Russia. <laughs> they're not, they're not uh, uh, lining up to get into Russia because there's great opportunities there. And they're not lining up to go to some of these other countries because there's no meritocracy there. And uh, just a little bit of hard work, uh, commitment to something bigger than self, uh, commitment to being a good citizen, and uh, and here I am. Uh, so I think it's a great American story, and, and there are a bunch of us uh, running around in uniform who can tell this very same story. And maybe perhaps you could also comment on the military as an organization and as a team. They don't care if you're rich, poor, immigrant, non-immigrant, no, African-American, no, what color, what race, doesn't make a difference. Yeah. Maybe you could briefly describe, yeah, because does, I think uh, it's an incredible story. It, the, the military does discriminate. If you work hard, you're going to be okay. Mm -hmm. If you don't work hard, we're probably going to throw you out. Mm -hmm. So performance <laughs> matters. It's not the color of your skin or uh, your background. Performance matters. And uh, that's, that's why I encourage so many young men and women to... If you're not sure what you want to do in life, go join the military. Do it for two or three or four years. I was going to do it for three or four years. I was going to serve for three or four years. I was going to get out and get a job and get rich. Not doing so well on <laughs> getting out or getting rich, but uh, I've, been, I've been richly blessed. Um, but if you perform in the military, it's a great place to get your feet under you learn some incredible skills, life skills. Not just a, a job skill, but life skills. And uh, if you have sons and daughters who are looking for a place, uh, send them to the recruiter. <laughs>